Okay, big game uh, Sunday night against a very, very good football team. Um, obviously, they have some terrific players over there on their on their defense, um, getting some guys back. It looks like and uh, um, and offensively, as we know, Devonte Adams and, and Aaron Rodgers are outstanding players. Um, we got some good players too, and uh, we're gonna go play. Questions. Uh, Chris is the only one in the chat right now, and then followed by Courtney. Yeah, yeah, Coach, I'm hoping you could take us through this morning regarding Kirk Cousins. Uh, apparently, I guess he had some symptoms and self-reported, and just your thoughts on the situation and how do you feel about losing your starting quarterback before such a huge game? Well, I don't think it was uh, accurate what you said. He gets tested every day. I don't know that he had symptoms. He got tested uh, this morning, and uh, just like everybody else that's gotten COVID this year, I get a text saying, uh, they're positive and they get to uh, retest and make confirm it or not confirm it. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, we ha hate to see that happen to Kirk, but he's done a lot of great things for us. And and uh, Sean is a is a really good football player, and we're expecting him to go out and play really well. Mike just wanted to confirm on that note. Even though he hasn't practiced, uh, will will Sean start on Sunday? Sean and will we'll be the backup. Sean will start on Sunday. Uh, Dave followed by Mark. Mike, was it was this something that you were were bracing for at all? Just knowing that how many players had gone out and how long he'd been able to avoid, um, you know, the virus until now. Uh, you know, every every day is different. You know, somebody somebody's getting it. Um, you know. I, you know, you're always hopeful that none of your players get it, but um, that hasn't been the case throughout this season. Yeah, Mike, I was wondering if, uh, you know, back in the preseason when you were really trying to get this team to, to get vaccinated, if were they, was this like the kind of ice scenario that you were throwing out to them? Like, hey, if we're in the play, if we're in the playoff hunt, you know, this could happen. No, well, I mean, Mark, we knew that. Probably that uh, you know the way the way it was going. Obviously, with the Omicron now, it's it's way different than than it was at the beginning of the season. But um, you know, we I was more concerned about the players' health more so than you know losing football games or not having a player for the for that. You know, I didn't I didn't really want their families or or them to get sick and get really sick. So. Um, you know, but things, it's changed, you know, everybody, I mean, there's so many people that are getting it now, um, you know, it's just part of life. Sam? Hey, Mike, uh, I guess I was just wondering if there was any uh, consideration given to Kellen because Sean was, wasn't able to get back until today and, and uh, what gives you the confidence in Sean to turn to him uh, even with his short week? Uh, no, there really wasn't. We knew Sean was coming back, and uh, Sean is extremely bright. He studies like crazy. Um, he's a great competitor. Um, you know, so he's he's put in his time. He's earned this opportunity, and uh, I think he'll do great. Chris, have you had a chance, Coach, to talk to um, Kirk at all? You know, to gauge how he feels and missing such a big game and that sort of thing. I've t I've texted with him, but uh, I have not really. We haven't really talked about any of that. Uh, ben, followed by Mark. Yeah, Mike. It, with Sean starting, does anything have to change with your game plan, or do you plan to execute things pretty much the way they would be if Kirk was out there? Yeah, pretty much the same. Um, you know, obviously uh, their game plan will change, so we may have to make some adjustments. But um, you know, Sean Sean knows the game plan cold. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, like I said, he's an extremely brilliant person. Um, he puts in the work every single week like he's going to be the starter, and um, he is this week. And uh, Mike, just to, um, I don't know if you answered it earlier, but um, Kellen will be the backup? Yeah. And then I just had a question on, on turnovers. I mean, I know that just to shift gears on turnovers, you know, the Packers, you know, every team, you know, it, 
turnovers are important, but it seems like the Packers, I mean, they're like 30 and 0 under LaFleur when they, when they win the turnover ratio or turnover margin. What is it about them? You know, obviously Rarin Rodgers, is it about them that they really put uh, when they when they win that battle? Yeah, well, you know, I think Mark, one of the biggest, you know, they, they rush the passer really well. They, they do a good job in um, creating creating sacks, but they, they cover well as well. And, uh, you know, so I think, you know, when a team is trying to, um, you know, throw the ball and, and do those things that uh, you get more opportunities to, to do that. Um, you know, it'll be a big it'll be a big uh, uh, thing on Sunday night with the weather conditions and the cold. You know, we've, we're going to have to take care of the football and, and uh, treat it like it's gold. Dave, like just to just to clarify on Kirk, on Kirk, is he having any symptoms and feeling okay? I don't know that. I haven't I haven't asked him if he's got any symptoms, and I wasn't told that he had any. Chad? Mike, do you feel like you have to do anything or say anything to kind of keep spirits up without your starting quarterback, or is it just kind of business as usual? I talk to the team all the time. Uh, you know, I talked to him a couple times this morning. Um, you know, we'll talk to him again tomorrow. Um, you know, I, I, think, I think they're going to rally behind uh, Sean. Uh, you know, they want to they, – they know how uh, important this game is, and, um, you know, they, they, they believe in Sean. I'll open it up. Anyone else? Doesn't sound like it, Bob. Ben? Yeah, Mike, uh, like just on, on, the, on the secondary situation with, with Dantzler being uh, possibly not out there, how does that change things when you're facing Rodgers and you've had so many shifts in the secondary in terms of the corners you've had available? Yeah, you know, um, Last year when we played them up there, we, we, we lost about three or four corners during the game. So, um, you know, we're going to go into it and, uh, you know, I, I have confidence in the guys uh, that will be out there.